uh, mount the trucks, I wanted to give you an idea of what this thing weighs. So I've got my scale zeroed out. Now I'm putting the board on there. So you've got about 2.8 pounds, so exactly 2.816 pounds. Got 1278 grams, 45.05 ounces. So, pretty light board that's with the grip on there. So, the whole thing is going to be pretty light. All right, in order to get this board to track straight, I need to make sure that the wheels are mounted straight. So, I've gone ahead and measured out the centers of the, uh, of the uh, bolt holes on the truck and I've drawn those out on the paper you can see here now you'll see that I've got uh, eight different points here uh, one is so that I can mount the trucks back here if I wanted and the other one is to, um, to mount them up here in the front uh, on this prototype board I'm gonna mount them here on the front just to make sure that the board is stiff enough uh, to be ridden by somebody heavy and to take a little bit of abuse so I'm gonna put them as far out as I can on both of this and I think it uh, it came out to 32 um, 32 inches as the wheelbase so anyway I drew this out on one side I folded my template over and I took something sharp and I just marked it kind of punched it through to the other side to get the, uh, the correct um, hole alignment over on this side too since we were able to, to fold our template in half, that makes it real slick and easy to, uh, to draw these out. Um, you'll notice that, uh, that there's a big X and a small X. The big X just tells me which holes go with um, what truck spacing. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, template onto the, the board now and probably just tape it and then um, mark out where I want my, my, my bolts to be for the truck. So I went ahead and put the uh, template on the uh, top of the board here and I've lined it up so that uh, that it matches the board really well and now all I'm gonna do is take this uh, this bit here since it's got a pointy end and I'm gonna take this hole and I'm gonna just kinda push down kinda hard on there and what that'll do is that'll give me the mark for the center hole of where I need to drill I wanted to show you the different options you had with drilling the, uh, your truck mount bolt holes um, through your board. Uh, the first one is you can put a, a finishing washer on there but it sticks up a little bit but it still looks pretty good so if you wanted to do that you don't have to uh, to use a uh, countersink um, drill bit. Uh, the other option is that countersink drill bit. You can see here that I've got it drilled out so that that, uh, that flat head screw goes through the board and is flush with the top. So those are your two options with this pretty much. Um, I've seen some guys where they'll just drill a hole and then they stick their, their screw on there. It's not a good idea unless you've got a, a, like a pan head screw which is flat on the, on the bottom of it. The reason why is because you want as much contact with the, uh, the top of the board here as you can get. So a finish, um, finish washer works good and then countersinking also works good.